The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And again, we've given away those passes. Uh, well, trip, I should say, a VIP trip to the Austin City Limits Music Festival. It features Blink-182. So make sure you just keep texting that anytime throughout the show today till 10 o'clock. The word is BAND. And it's to 95819. You text the word BAND to 95819 for your chance to win this incredible VIP trip. And you'll see Blink, so it'll be great. Um, Case, what's the problem with mini Hershey candy bars in your life? You called them evil to me. Well, I think the person that created a mini Hershey's bar and any fun size candy, I think that person was an evil person that should be looked at as evil as any of the great evil people of all time. I'm um, not following. So, <laughs> you know, we have this show, 6 to 10, and we're on the show the whole time, but there's songs and there's commercial breaks, and sometimes, you know, you have a chance to step out of the room, maybe go to the receptionist desk where there is a communal candy bowl there, where maybe, just perhaps hypothetically, there are some mini Hershey's bars in that bowl. Yep. And so at 7 o'clock, you stop by, you go, oh, piece of candy. Okay, I'll grab one. And at 7.30, you're like, man, I'm kind of hungry again. Let me grab a few more on my way back to my office where I do the show. And then 8 o'clock and 8.30 and 9 and 9.30 and 9.45. And before you know it, you've had as many, many candy bars as a full-size one. And now you've just had a Hershey's bar by 10 in the morning. And it's deceitful and it's evil and it's wrong. And I was bamboozled yesterday. Um, you understand why they're evil now, Kenzie? I, mean, I guess. This is like a new <laughs> problem. Um, I can honestly say nothing about a Hershey bar tempts me. Oh, that's my go-to candy. I get two uh, a week at the grocery bleh, store. It's just plain and boring. It does nothing for me. I disagree. I, I, and if it was filled with caramel, now we're doing something. Ugh, um, no, thank you. Let's start from there. Plain Hershey or plain M&Ms that aren't filled with anything, I could care less about. Hmm. So I've, I'm not struggling with this. I guess his point is he could have just eaten a big bar instead of all the little ones because he thought he was going to be healthy by eating one or two little ones. Thank you. Is that what you're trying to say? That's what I'm trying to say. I thought I was saying it clearly that I was duped into thinking like, oh, well, I'll just have one little bite-sized bite. It'll be fun. It'll be fine. It might even be healthy. I mean, you are, you are raging, so it's a little hard to understand. Sorry, that I, you're, I, 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 well, I'm, at least, at least you got a, <laughs> you know, a walk-in in between each one. If you bought one big one, your ass would have just sat in a chair the whole time and ate it. Not a bad point. Yeah, but by the second trip, I was bundling. I was taking money uh, out of time. <laughs> You're lining your pockets. Yeah, I was You're... like, you know, I was gathering sticks for a campfire, basically. Oh. You don't just take one stick at a time. Bundling Hershey <laughs> mini bars. It is, yeah. I, I, I think it's sometimes when that stuff, it's evil things, you end up eating more of them anyway. Exactly. Than the, the normal size bar. Exactly. Because we bought, Harper is addicted to graham crackers now for some reason. She should get help. Certainly is on the way. <laughs> I, so I ended up buying the honey made Costco because I just and then Megan said, "Why are you bringing that home? You're you're fueling your addiction." You know what you should get her? What's that? Because they're way better than normal graham crackers, and they are addicting. Is the Scooby Snack version of graham crackers are effing delicious. But why are they? How are they? How are they better? It's probably because they're not so thin and crumbly. They're <laughs> they're so there's so like more honey or something infused. They're so. Good. Yeah, I mean, she, she's going to shake if she doesn't eat these. Like, I'm telling you right well, now, they're fantastic. So there's these little bear uh, snacks that they are They don't even come close. They're good. They don't come close to the Scooby snacks. They're They've good. Had they're really good. Well, then you're on your way to a better graham cracker. Just wait till you try the Scooby snacks. I can't because now Harper's gotten me addicted because we bought those bears and because in a pinch because we didn't have any. They didn't. The store jewel was out of the big crackers. The big crackers. So she ate them and didn't like them, to your point, didn't like them as much as regular graham crackers. Ugh. So I'm catching up on the Sopranos at lunch yesterday. <laughs> With your 18-month-old yeah. sitting on your lap. Right. That's good for her. And I grabbed the snap, the bag because she didn't like them, and I was taking big scoops, and I thought, well, you know what it tastes better than just these bears is whipped cream on them. <laughs> good Lord. So I threw the bears in my mouth, and then Megan caught me spraying whipped cream in my mouth with the bears. <laughs> Oh, my God. Has anybody ever told you you're the man? <laughs> Not what today. What is going on? Where was Harper? She was on my lap. As you're, as you're shoveling food in your mouth watching yeah. The Sopranos, <laughs> where is the baby? By the way, I've seen The Sopranos, too. It's my third or fourth time, you know, rewatching well, it. Well, so is Harper. Right. She's like, this guy's going to die. I mean, well, it's the Adriana scene, too. It's one of the worst episodes ever, and she's in there going, dup, da, dup, da, da. I don't like these bears. Where's the big crackers? So I'm going... Spray whipped cream in my mouth when Megan came out and saw me doing it. 
And then she and got, she left you. She well, she did leave for a work thing, and then she came home later, and she wanted them, and she goes, "Wait, you ate that whole bag of bears? The whole thing is gone." And I go, "Yep." It's pretty good with whipped cream, though. You missed out on that. I have a question. When she left, were you worried she wouldn't come back after watching that? No, I was thankful I could be alone and enjoy them. <laughs> well, all the judgment. No judgment zone. Yeah. I'm like... <sighs> the worst is, like, when my husband says he's going to be gone and he comes back early. And it's like, you know, if you're going to come back early, come back early enough to put the kids to bed. Don't come back early right when I'm alone. Doing what I want to do yeah. without judgment. I'm like, I just ordered Uber Eats. Now you're like, why would you order Uber Eats? There's leftovers in the fridge. It's like, oh, I can't I live in peace. Can I just have some mozzarella <laughs> sticks? I just, why, what do I got to run it by you, you jerk? <laughs> why, why are you home? So uh, we're wondering for you guys to join this conversation, what's evil for you? What's that e thing like that's evil that no matter what, you're going to eat them all? Or it could be it could be something that's not food, too, just something you can't control yourself with. Please don't text in different drugs. Okay, no, no drugs. <laughs> well, maybe don't open it up. Let's, yeah, okay, no drugs. But, man, those little bears, I'm, I'm, like, buying them now, and I got them in the car because I don't want to take them in because Megan knows that Harper doesn't like them, so why are we buying these bears just for me? That's not well, possible. I think you're really not taking them in because you know she wants them now, she, and you're well, just she, being spoiled. She likes them, but now, what are, what are these Scooby Snack Grams? What are they? Listen, look, the Scooby Snack, like the Scooby Treats Graham Crackers are by far the superior Graham Cracker snack. Mm. You don't understand. They're delightful. Oh, it's got uh, big, big doggies on the front of the box, too. That's neat. Well, They're like, so good. Like a big dog like Scooby-Doo? Yeah, like that dog. Okay. Yeah. Big dog. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Case uh, divulged his mini Hershey bar addiction, where he should have just bought a full-size bar because he's now eaten more than a full-size bar of mini Hershey bars here in the building. It led to a conversation of the things that are evil in your life. For me, it's the little gram, the Teddy Grams. But Kenzie has now got me on a path of the Scooby Snack Grams are you much don't better. Understand. I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid to do it. And what's evil for you? Aaron checked in. Unfortunately, I will smash an entire box of Nutty Bars in one sitting. <laughs> that's why I buy two. Oh, no. <laughs> Most people say that's why I don't buy them. That's yeah. why I stock up. I can so relate to that because I, I know one of these is going to go far and I'm going to want to come back to Jewel and get more. What the hell? Um, a lot of people checking in on certain items. A lot of the people with the Flamin' Hot Doritos or, or Cheetos, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, a whole bag, forget it. Um, I have a question about Flamin' Hot Cheetos for Kenzie real quick. Yes. Are those considered hot for you? No. Oh, my God. I like the, like, the, like, Muy fuego uh, takis. That's where we're. That takis are what I'm talking about. Oh, see, I can't. E I can't even get to the takis. That's just a different ballpark for me. I'm not touching those. I'm in a taki zone. No, I, the flaming hot Cheetos. I might as well just drink like liquid dynamite. It's the hottest thing in the world for me. I can't handle it. Cheetos just they just don't do it for me because I'm just. I need the extra. The oomph that a taki brings with the mm. lime infused with the heat. I do not. I need it. I buy, I I buy, I, it. I buy surgical gloves when I'm doing those. I can't take the damn stuff on my fingers. It never I comes off. I be careful now that there's a newborn in the house because I have been smashing yeah. some takis. I'm like, oh, I can't touch you. You like, touch me? A, like, you're, you got to touch everything. Like, they're pacifiers and stuff. I'm like, you're going to just start on fire. You put his pacifier and he turns to dust. Oh goes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vaughn's checking in from Chicago. Vaughn, ahoy. What's up, man? Ahoy, crew. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no problem. Thanks for listening. Thanks for checking in. What's what's evil for you? Uh, okay, so I have I have this, like, stash of Velveeta mac and cheese boxes. And I, I have to call it a stash now because my, my girlfriend, she does not agree with the amount of conservatives in that. So this is my this is wait, my wait, evil wait, 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 wait. Like boy, before you go on, before you go on, she doesn't agree with the preservatives that are in it? <laughs> yeah, you know, there's this... It, the, the cheese isn't isn't real for her, you know, and so and I get that, you know, a lot of people have discomfort with that that type of cheese consistency. <laughs> so you know, I have to have I have to have these like hidden boxes of Velveeta because only I can enjoy them, you know, and I and I can't enjoy them around her because then I feel bad that she doesn't have any to enjoy, you know. Mm. So when I do get to enjoy it, I. I think I destroy my stomach over this, but I love a mac and cheese with just a hefty amount of milk. Oh, yeah. You always got to be creamy. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's more than creamy. It is like Italian soup for me. Like, <laughs> Italian cereal. Like it, it's very sophisticated. It's, you can imagine, like, a good minestrone soup from Olive Garden, and instead of, like, the minestrone, it's just 
cheesy like cheesy milk bath for like some noodles and i'm all about that i i feel you i understand where you're coming from when i used to make like craft mac and cheese when i was you know younger college whatever I also couldn't stop at the pouch of, of powder cheese. Yeah. I had to go into my fridge and grab the three different flavors of shredded cheese that I have. So I had to add, like, pepper jack, yeah. Monterey. Then, like, I had to layer it. And it was just, it was just like a like a brick of cheese yeah. with noodles. That clearly, I, clearly the scientists at Kraft didn't know what they were doing properly. <laughs> One pack of powder, they my not. ass. So <laughs> what is this? So you and Vaughn went to town. Yeah, I... I I really want, you know, Kraft to, to come up with uh, with a brand that's just, like, very milk. Like, maybe it's a milk pouch. You know, maybe there's just an extra pouch of, of milk <laughs> I can look for in there because I, I need that. You know, you know the I side, send these pictures and videos. You yeah. know on the side when it says the requirements, like, to make something? Yeah. Oh, it's just, like, sure one that. gallon sure of milk that. is listed. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Lauren's coming in. Take you through the rest of a pretty damn good-looking Thursday. Takeaways, let's get to them. You guys send them in, 312-591-8300. Something you're taking away from today's show. Case, what do you got? 708 checked in and said, don't eat Takis if you have a baby in your household. Oh, can't touch their face after. It's a whole thing. Or any, anything, probably. Well, right. I, I'm fine. I'm, like, immune you're immune. But he's he's new to the world of spice. It's amazing when you like a little baby, like everything is brand new, like every flavor and oh, every yeah. burn, every, everything. Every burn. Uh, I hope what, you're what? not burning Harper in different ways. Well, no. He burned her yesterday. It was yeah. a whole thing. Oh, new, God. New, a new kind of burn, though. Good. <laughs> that damn, the damn son made the slide hot at the playground, and uh. I put her on it. She was like, ah! And I'm like, is fried I, her up. But I touched it. It was not that hot, but to her, it was like probably oh, really hot. See. Yeah, she's fine. She'll be fine. That's good. Happy you didn't burn your baby too bad. Uh, <laughs> said the producer can't handle seasoning that's case the producer he's like our baby yeah that's right he's the show's baby and that's right don't and, put down any slides and i can't handle any seasoning i, I can't wait to eat those nashville hot shrimp you bought from whole foods and see what happens uh that's so i've got dinner booked out the rest of the week but i'll try them over the weekend and i'll report back on monday the nashville hot shrimp that i got from whole foods yesterday why don't you uh, live stream it <laughs> just in case for... you die so people are like don't call for help I think of the ratings Kenzie to, I'll wait for some people to get in the chat and yeah. then I'll eat my shrimp Maybe I just my... think it's a good idea because if you do faint somebody like could call somebody yeah, I don't know. Maybe you should text us before and after you're done. Well, if I if I faint from Nashville hot shrimp, I probably just deserve to go. Well, that's wow. a completely separate. <laughs> that's a dark statement. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, then we won't help you. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, what do you got, Kenzie? She just oh, right, right yours, my bad. <laughs> Thanks uh, for listening when I talk. Here Ryan. we go. Da, 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 three, da. One, three, one, two, take away. The fate of the dairy industry lies within a mac and cheese cereal collab we never dreamed of. <laughs> Boy, our listeners, they, they are right with us. They're right on the same page. Uh, Case, how do people figure out why these takeaways came in here? Uh, because they listen to the Brian and Kinsey podcast, which will help further contextualize these takeaways. If you missed a minute of the show, we had a great discussion, a riveting discussion, an educational discussion on Five Guys Burgers and Fries this morning. <laughs> that is on there. We also played some voicemails that ruined people's lives in the 7 o'clock hour. That was a ton of fun. And then uh, we talked about a fish-related crime last hour, something appalling, something that we do not condone, but a very funny crime mm. relating to fish. Well, it's fishy. You missed a little moment. You missed a lot. Brian and Kenzie podcast on Spotify, Apple, Q101.com, anywhere you get a podcast, it's there. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101.